race driver. I got this neat little motorhome, right? Put the dirt bike on the back, away I go. I'm now putting a fax machine in my motorhome so I can be a little more in touch even when I'm gone. Here's my new mode for the future, in touch and out of reach. It's, that's the new deal. Say, so yes, you can, right? You can contact him, but you can't find him for a while, he's gone. So, you know, what is your goal for the future to get away? something that would really serve you well in terms of refreshing, change of pace, skills you want to help teach your children. I taught my girls how to swim, how to dive. Such great satisfaction when they used to say, watch me, Daddy, watch me. Look how good I am. You taught me, watch me. Got a good phrase for you. This is a good one to put in here. All life seems to wish to reward its benefactor. All life wishes to reward its benefactor. If you take especially good care of the flowers, they will bloom especially bright for you. If you teach your children, they will want to show off for you. Daddy, look how good I am. You're the one that taught me. You want to watch me do it again? <laughs> All life takes delight in rewarding its benefactor. What classes would you like to teach? My friend Lydia Cologne who 21 year, 20 years ago invested a dollar, now she's a millionaire. One of her specialties is helping young parents do a little marriage counseling. Right, some of those early years, right? Two, three, four, five years, those early years are pretty tough to get through. What specialty would you like to learn, make a contribution to society, make a contribution to your community? Does most everybody have a list of 50 now? Let me see the hands. How many's got 50? Okay, that's almost everybody. Okay, now put a little star there, right, that says you can continue this list. This doesn't mean this is all you get. Say, no, this is just to get you started. Because I promise you when you get back home, you'll think of 50 more and 50 more and 50 more that you couldn't think of while you were here. And, and this list can grow and grow and grow. Now, here's what this also means. If you have a lot more time than we have today, you can take plenty of time to just have people make as long a list as, you know, possible. Okay, now we're gonna do some things with this list. Here's the next exercise. I want you to look at each item on this list you've made and give each item a number. The number being a one, three, five, or 10. And this is why. I want you to look at an item and say, I think that would take about one year Another item, you say, I think that would take about three years. Another item, I think that would take five. And another item, looks like that's going to take ten. Give each item now a number of what you think it might take to achieve that goal. A one, a three, a five, or a ten. Just somewhere close, doesn't have to be exact. That's about a one, that's about a three-year goal, that's about a five-year goal, that's about a ten-year goal. If it's less than one year, just make it a year. If it's more than 10, just make it 10. 10 plus something. Just approximate, one, three, five, 10. finish early, you can add some more to your list. Running a marathon. Now, as soon as you've given each item a number, 
I want you to now go through and count them. How many ones, how many threes, how many fives, how many tens? And then just make a little list of those numbers. How many ones, threes, fives, tens? This is going to be interesting. Now, uh, I'd like to have a woman and a man uh, volunteer to give me uh, your tabulator list. How many ones, threes, fives, and tens? Right out here in the center somewhere. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, would you stand up and give me uh, your numbers? How many ones? How many threes? Twelve threes. Seventeen fives. Thank you very much. Now, that's a bit unusual. How many of you had no 10-year goals? Okay, quite a few, right? Isn't that interesting? Here's what that means. You're not thinking out that far. You're thinking more short-term than long-term. So the number you had, what was it again on 10-year goals? 14. See, that's... If someone had zero, someone had 14, that's a lot of difference in thinking long range. So that's all that's for, is just to help you to think more long range. Now, I need a woman to give me a, a list. Yes, ma'am. How many ones? What is it? 23. Wow, that's pretty good. How many ones did you have, sir? Seven. And isn't that interesting? Okay, threes, how many threes? 16 threes, fives, seven, and tens. Ten tens. Wow, you've been busy. Uh, okay. She's done this workshop before, so uh, she knew what was coming. See, that's pretty good. But now you, you get what I'm talking about? No tenure goals means you're not thinking out quite that far. And it wouldn't hurt you know, within the next year to start stretching on out there 10, 15, 20 years away, uh, what you'd like to be accomplishing and what you'd like to have when that time frame finally rolls around. Okay. Now, make these notes. When you've accomplished some goals, you need some more to accomplish. Next, it's very important when you reach a goal that's significant or important to you to celebrate. So just jot that down. Celebrate a significant accomplishment. Or it doesn't have to be that significant. If it's important to you, you know, it doesn't have to be world-changing or life-changing. If it's just a goal that's really important to you, you finally reached it. Celebrate. Now, hopefully on your list of goals, you had some family goals. And if the family together finally reaches a goal, jot this down, celebrate with the family. And if you're checking it off, let each member of the family put their check mark on this goal because the whole family worked on this one. Now, here's what this will do. It will help each member of your family to make a longer list of goals. Wow, if we can accomplish this, think of what else we could do. The same is true of you individually. When you accomplish something, check it off, celebrate. It'll help you to grab your list wherever it is and say, hey, if I can get here, I can double that original list. So celebration creates excitement to, to develop a longer list. You also need goals ongoing. When the early astronauts went to the moon, uh, some of them, when they came back from the moon, had psychological problems. Some of them drank too much, got into other difficulties. And one of the reasons is, where do you go now that you've been to the moon? So here's what they did later. They made sure that the astronauts later who came back from the moon had plenty of projects to keep them busy after they had been to the moon. And the same is true of you and me. Goals, after you've reached them, Another list. After you reach those, another list. My father lived to be 93. You can't imagine the goals he had. 
One of his goals when he was 92 was to get his driver's license renewed.